Thanks for staying with us. So, many of us watched the debate uh, yesterday. Gov uh, Governor Baseki and uh, Governor Chief Candidate for APC, Pastor Izeyamu, yesterday on a news station where both of them went head to head. It was interesting. But as the Edo States is gearing up now for Saturday's governorship election to discuss more of the burning issues surrounding the forthcoming poll, we're going to be having Collins Okonofua representing Pastor Osage Izeyamu Campaign Council. We'll also be having the special advisor to the governor, governor Baseki uh, on political matters, Osai Bovo Iyoha. Welcome, gentlemen, to the show. Good to have you both. Thank you. Thank you. So we watched Thank the you. debate Thank yesterday you. from the horse's mouth, and um, it was interesting to see both parties go head to head and all of that. Um, but this, the, the elections are this weekend, and before I start asking and discussing issues, I'd like to get your response to um, the Obama's intervention um, um, concerning campaigning and all that. Have you seen d a difference in the outburst within the community since the others spoke, or have there been pockets of violence here and there? Could you just, on both sides, let me start with Mr. Collins, in your, in your view. Okay, Pastor Collins is my name, thank you. Um, since the Obas intervention, um, uh, I think that there's been um, a gradual reduction in violence um, that's because the Oba pointedly uh, spoke to the people involved and um, reminded them of their promises to him to ensure that this election um, is violence free. And uh, since then, I think the people have taken heed to the Oba's um, counsel. And we can see that uh, since that intervention, the, the tension has um, uh, basically reduced. Right. Uh, the Oba specifically told the people, the direct people calling their names and telling them, call your voice to order. And indeed, we believe that um, they have done that and we have seen a gradual reduc reduction right. of tension. I'll take your response for that. Let's move on, on to the other topic. Go ahead. Okay, yes. So for me, um, definitely human, the human interest angle is important to me. I just wanted to also ask um, um, Honorable Iyoha what he thinks if he's satisfied with what the governor is doing in preparation for this as for security for the people. So apart from the others' um, um, intervention. intervention, what are we, um, um, police officers, what exactly is the federal government and the Edo State Governor doing to make sure that people will be safe during this election? Well, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, for us, um, as the government, uh, our government is doing its job, which is the uh, best job is to protect lives and property of Edo people. And um, we want to thank the uh, Monopan Edo, Kuakula Kuala, who is our royal father, a very revered traditional ruler across the world, not only in this country. That uh, he called all the principal actors to talk to them on the need for peace. For us, it has never been, it's not in our DNA to. Uh, Push, for, push violence and all that. But at the same time, we all know, we could even see from yesterday's debate, that uh, there are some bad bruisers and all that. So they tend to take things way above what is supposed to be. But we calm all the tension after the debate because, you know, right. there's no need for all those things. All those are kind of temperature. We are, we are all the good people. So okay. we've never been about violence. Good. So let's go into the issues that were discussed. Uh, one of the things that were raised yesterday was this issue of his certificate, your, uh, the governor's certificate not being eligible. Um, according to uh, what uh, Pastor Izeyamu said, uh, he, doesn't have, he didn't have a certificate from University of Ibadan. And the governor didn't really clarify this for us. Could you help us in that regard? I don't know what you mean by the governor didn't clarify it. You understand? Because the certificate is a no issue. The thing the governor said, number one, was how can a man that does, that does not even have primary six, talk less of uh, secondary school, or not to talk of even university, be the person that will sit and legislate over somebody's certificate? But let's keep that aside. You heard the governor say yesterday that when he left secondary school in 1976, there was no jam. You understand? Even today, there are various ways of getting to Nigerian universities. Apart from JAM, there was this IGMB that used to exist in the mm -hmm. 90s, I think. Yeah, I don't know if it's there. Yeah. There was a preliminary. I went into the university we had preliminaries. That's what we used to call it then in uh, Bender State University. So 
the issue of the certificate doesn't arise because number one, he did not give himself admission. The admission was given to him by the University of Ibadan. Do not forget. And then when we were writing jam in those days, I don't know whether they are still they still available now. There used to be when you buy your jam form, there's what they call syllabus that they sell. It tells you what you need, the prerequisites for you to gain admission. And I still I saw that document recently where it stated what you need to go into University of Ibadan as at that time when you write the A levels or your O levels. They were they they've been there all these years. I don't, I don't know who, okay. whether those things are still available, what you call the syllabus then. So for us, the certificate was not an issue. Right. They worked from the answer to the question because they knew the governor was too so popular, and so they were looking for a way to to uh, to, okay. to, to disqualify. Right. And not forget, the Can I say something that, briefly about that, please? Can I say something briefly about that, please? The University of Ibadan came like out twice. I would like to say something right. briefly about that. They took a full, full page advert. Even the alumni of the university, the alumni association, who were classmates because the university also took a full page advertorial, okay. stating that. The same, they went to the same school. His right. classmates in the hostel also took a full page. Point so taken, sir. About... Okay. Point taken, uh, sir. Can I say something about that? Pastor Collins yes, wanted please. to say something. Hang in there, uh, yes, Mr. Osai. Yes, please. I, 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 also, I also happen to have graduated from secondary school in 1976. All right? And I know that there were only two ways by which you could get admission into university. You either would get admission into university um, um, through um, uh, prelim, or through direct entry, through direct entry, which would mean that you had um, A levels uh, papers in, uh, you had A levels in two papers, none of which Obaseki has produced. He had three credits in WAEC, and those three credits were minus English and mathematics, which were composite subjects, even as at that time, Obaseki did not have it. Now, All right. if you were going Point to start, taking, Mr. If you Pastor to start Collins. that process, you needed to produce your A-level papers. Hmm. Or basically claims that he has A-levels. Up until now, yes. as you and I speak, nobody has cited those A-level papers. Okay. And Obaseki will have to face the court to produce those papers All when right. the time comes. Thank you, Pastor Collins, for that. Go ahead. Thank, um, thank you. Many Nigerians have heard this argument, and it was, and I'm happy that if people on social media are seeing through the certificate issue, that many times people bring up certificates to sort of like throw, um, throw people off the election and the real issues that concern um, the citizens, the Nigerians, the Edo people. It's really not about the certificate. So let's move away from certificate and talk about okay. the life of the individuals there. And for me, I would go through health. And I don't want us to, I don't want attack. I want a clear, this is what we have done. This is the impact of what we have done. And from the other side, this is what we will do. Mm -hmm. This is how we feel it can be better. Right. So going with that, mm -hmm. um, Pastor Collins, I'd like to start with you. What gaps have your own um, candidates observed in the health sector, just like Tokwe said, that you're going to change or fix when you become governor, if you become governor? Thank you very much. Um, there are uh, a, a lot of gaps that uh, have been observed. As a matter of fact, if you heard the governor speak yesterday, he said that he doesn't need doctors to run the health, care, uh, health sector. And for me, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a scandal. That's scandalous. How can you run a, the health se sector without doctors and nurses? So first and foremost, uh, the, the College of, uh, the School of Nursing, that has been shut down. We are going to ensure that within three months of the coming of Pastor Sage Zemo as governor of Edo State, that school will be open because you need that school to feed the health, health, health sector. We are also going to ensure that uh, doctors are employed in uh, massively because there is a scarcity of doctors across the state. Right now, we have about 20 doctors across the whole of Edo, Edo State. And mm -hmm. that shows you that we are in trouble in the health, health sector. So we are going to ensure that um, the health centers, which Obaseki promised to build, which he did not build, we will build those, those health centers across the 192 wards in Edo State. He promised to build one in every ward, and he built only five. Now we are going to build one ward, one health center per ward in the 192 wards in Edo State after, uh, as soon as um, right. Pastor Ezeamu becomes governor. Okay, let me now we are going to also ensure... Let me now move to the essay because we have very little time. I get the point now. Uh, uh, essay, I would like you to respond to this. Um, what, 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 what has your candidate done so far? And what does he plan to do in addition in the health sector, please? You see, um, they always say that you can't build 
something or nothing. You see what happened in the debate yesterday was about attacks, and you can see the gentleman or pastor here. He has gone on the, on the uh, assault again. You understand? Well, the questions they never answer. You understand? You can't build nothing on something. They they they, they built their campaign on propaganda and lies. You understand? But they've forgotten that the world has evolved. Years ago, you could only send messages via personal interface. You have to come all the way from Lagos to give a message to your child in Benin. For example, they were going to school. But as time evolved, we now had the email. And now you can do anything you want on the spot at the moment, real time. Mm. They've forgotten that you have Google. You can Google these things. They are all there. The governor promised. They, for them, the health sector means only one thing, the hospital. The hospital, the specialist hospital, that is what matters to them. But they've forgotten that if you go to the dictionary, check the meaning of specialist. If you have a common cold or you have uh, the snake bite, these are problems that could easily be taken care of at the health centers, at the primary health centers, the PHC, which the governor has informed, which is doing all over the 18 local governments. As which is speak. a lie, which is not but, true. <laughs> At least I didn't interrupt okay. you. Just show some yes, please. Well, let me go. Let me ask my question, sir. So, f first to the so pastor. Guys, Hold on, sir. Sir. My question goes to the pastor. Let me question, and then the next thing he jumps into is, oh, you, you, you. What are you going to tell us? Tell us what you will do. Now, this is what we have done. We are telling you, go on Google. I think you, the, the press, please, you have a lot of work to do because the country is in a bad shape, real bad shape. Essie, I have people... to pause you for a second because we need to send you more point. questions. Yeah. Go ahead. So my question is to the pastor. I don't understand mm -hmm. your one uh, one agenda campaign that your, that your candidate is proposing. I, I need clarity on that because as an adult citizen, an indigenous, I feel that you know that's too bogus. Like you mentioned about the certificate, it's too bogus a campaign. I want specifics on what you will do. Now to the essay to the governor on hospitals, as an adult girl, Back home, my grandmother does not have access to Google. She needs to access the hospital. And sending money home every time and buying drugs off the chemist is not something that I love doing. It's not convenient. So a primary health care center in EBA, for instance, would do have wonders. If you could just tell me specifically where the primary health care center is that she can access, at least see a doctor to recommend drugs for her, it would make sense. Instead of counting drugs off the counter from every chemist. So those are the specifics that I need. This argument back and forth yeah, is yeah, not what we yeah, need in Edo now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this, uh, for this point that you raised. Now, 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 there's what is called illusion, and there's what is called reality. Okay. So when, when the Vasaki camp talks, and we try to refute what they have said, they say we are attacking. The truth of the matter is that you cannot keep pushing lies into, into the space and expect people to swallow the lies who clan and sink up. There are no health centers anywhere. They claim that they have built health centers. They do not exist. So you don't want to go to a pharmacy to buy medication. You want to go to the health center, but no such health center exists. And they are angry when we point that out. Okay. They are asking us to tell them what we want to do. All right. And we say, you have been there for four years. For God's sake, show us what you have Pastor done. Collins. You keep telling us you have done X, Y, Z. Okay. And we say X, Y, Z do not exist. Okay, and Pastor Collins, point, point taken. Let me just give the, um, the essay a few seconds to respond. How many health centers have you built? Good question. How many health centers? Is there no people that let, let the man the name Wakers? It's not called Wakers for nothing. You understand? It is based on performance. There is empirical evidence. You understand? If you go to the state has a website, the governor has a website, you will see everything he has done everywhere. Let me tell you. All for you to go, you. For you to go to the you. They do not exist. 192 words for you as a governor, as a sitting governor. To travel, traverse this whole length and breadth of your state and go to each ward. It has never happened before that every single ward in Edo is represented in government. But this is a governor that when he came, he said every ward must have a special assistant. It has never happened before. Unfortunately, I have to go on a break, so, sir. It's not called wake and see for nothing. It is just to go, let you people should do your independent verification. Do not yes. even believe, don't believe what I tell you. Don't believe what it tells okay. you. Okay, all right. I say I have to go on a quick go, break. Go out and find out where these things are. I have to go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back.
All right, thanks for staying with us. So we still have the two gentlemen from both parties with us. Yes, Mariam had a question. Yeah, so my question is to Pastor Collins. Um, on the simple agenda that your um, candidate has, he, he talks about um, social welfare and social security numbers for Edo State indigents. It's, I mean, on paper, it's quite um, interesting and laudable. But I would like to know, what are the exact plans for this? Is this a one-year, two-year plan mm -hmm. that would come into fruition within the four years, or is this something that is long-term? Hmm. Oh, would that be all for four years? All right, thank you. Uh, um, you, can be, you can understand that this is something that is novel, that has not happened before. Um, we're going to have um, each indigent of those states um, have a social security number. In other words, this would enable us to know how many uh, citizens we are catering for in every material particular. All right, so that at every particular time you can know who and who have access to the facilities that you are making provision for. If you're building a stadium, if you're building a health center, if you're building um, a school, you want to know how many indigents have access um, to that facility in order to enable you plan well. This is what has not happened before. Now, this also, you can ask me this question now because you have read the simple agenda, which we in which place we have detailed all our plans. Now, if you ask your Basaki camp, you will find that oh they, there's no such document anywhere. They have what they call a mega, I don't know what that means, but you can, you can be sure that you cannot find that document anywhere in existence. All right, so you can ask me about the social security number that we plan to give out now because we have documented it. So you can okay. call us to question. We can, we can, we can give account. This is, right. the, this is the simple agenda. All right, that, that we have brought out. Right. Everybody in Edo State, as of now, has access Pastor. to this okay. document. All right, now, thank you, Pastor so Collins. Thank account. you for that. I mean, we have, they do not have we have, we have, we have very little. Yeah. Oh, they are, they are, they are written out. So you can right. hold them. You, you cannot hold them to anything. Okay. Pastor Collins, did not have Pastor Collins, in 2016. We, we, he still does not have now. Oh, so you yes. can anything you ask him okay. now. We we get that, Pastor Pastor Collins, the document, yeah. But I think what's more important for us is let me come to the essay. Um, okay. We've seen, based on what your governor has said yesterday, that an influx of investors coming into Edo. Since he's been there, according to him, he said about seven flights coming to Edo right now. People are coming in to invest. Could you tell us in a nutshell those things your governor had, has done and plans to build on? In a nutshell, very quickly and very specifically, please. Specific. <laughs> I guess that's for me. Yes. Um, it's funny when... You come on TV to lie to Nigerians. It's that it tells you how deep we are in this mess that we're in today. A man that came on TV yesterday. I know. I mean, the last time the BBC Pigeon English debate, the man was asked the same question: that during COVID, how would you fund this your wonderful plan? Like what you're to 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 what well, how many billion? And then he comes to TV to say COVID or no COVID. How do, how do you legislate for that? You were asked one question in two different ways. How do you fail one question in two exams, simultaneously? Uh, first one in BBC, it was asked the same question, and yesterday it was asked the same question. Look, this simple agenda is fraudulent. You and I know. I said, did you and get our own question? I said, did you get our question? He kept on talking about the security vote, the security vote, the vote. He was not talking about the money. I said, did you get our question? Yeah, that's good, about the money. Good, good. Sorry, I didn't get you. Did you hear our question? Our question is we have very little time and we have people from Edo watching who want to know specifics. What are the things that your um, governor has done specific? And he wants to. We have trained over close to 12,000 teachers. We are okay. building health centers. We are opening the landscape up. We are bringing in investors. Before now, before he became governor, there was only one flight coming to Benin. So they are the last count. You have about eight planes on ground every day, daily, flying and out of Benin. What we are, we are doing things the way it's supposed to be done. But these people want to take us all back to where we used to be, and that will never happen. We will never go back to Egypt. Okay. Yeah. We won't. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So essay. Um... 
uh, you have your own mega ag um, agenda, and one of the things that you, your, the governor is saying that they'll be working on going forward is revenue generation. And we know, of course, because of the pandemic, there's been shortage of revenue, you know, across the world, everywhere. But he's talking about taxation in particular, and he uses the word a friend, pocket-friendly way to achieve that. Can you give us specifically what this uh, method is? Okay, let me quickly bring this to your view. Before 2016, hello, can you, are you, can you hear me? We can hear you, but we can't see you, but hello? go ahead. We can hear you very clearly. Before 2016, each bus driver and taxi driver in Edo State used to pay 3,000 to 4,000 Naira on a daily basis. Today, they are paying less than 800 Naira. That is pocket friendly. That is what it means by pocket friendly friendly policies. They are not harassed the way they used to be then. We don't have people jumping into taxis, into cars, and then causing accidents on the way. You know, we have given revenue collection a human face. Now, coming to uh, uh, what we are trying to bring in, the Gelegele Seaport is on board. It's coming in. The feasibility studies have been done. And very soon, you will see equipment. Some of, some of the equipments have started coming in. You know, like the dredging equipment. I am aware that those are suddenly coming in. So, you know, whenever you want, they, they call the MOU because they don't know what to do a transaction is. What they do know is collect money, just pick money, pick money, money will come from Abuja. But no money is coming from Abuja. And then we thank God, if you look, the COVID pandemic has come to reset how we do things. With COVID, it was asked yesterday, how do you, why would you raise money? He couldn't talk about it. You just think the money is sitting there in Abuja that the uh, uh, prices are all plummeted, they are all down. So where it's, is this money really going to come from? So you need someone that has been able to drive a business. Okay. Because politics has become serious business. All right. Thank Unfortunately, we are running out of time. So let me come to Pastor Collins uh, uh, on this. Uh, Pastor Collins, yeah. we have very little time left. And I'd like you to, in a nutshell, um, the strategy your, your candidate plans to have. because. People have said in different quarters that they've been seeing some kind of improvement, but especially since your own candidate was in, was an SSG at some point, can you honestly tell us there haven't been any improvements? And if there haven't been, what exactly are the specific areas you're going to primarily invest in when you become um, governor, when you go into government? It should answer as a pastor. Since he says he's a pastor, it should answer well. He should say the truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder why my friend is uh, bothered because he knows that now what I'm going to say will bring out the lie that they have been telling. They tell lies. It says to you that they have trained 12,000 teachers. And then you want to ask them, where are the 12,000 teachers? And in any case, how much did it cost to train the 12,000 teachers? They don't exist anywhere. Obaseki is just an MOU. I mean, all it does, he, he says, he tells you that Lagos State came to copy a best. And then you would uh, ask him, what did the Lagos State copy? They copied what they saw on uh, computer, all right? It's not on ground. I can tell you very um, lucidly that what we are going to do is all encapsulated in the simple agenda, all right? From A to Z, everything that we will do. So in other words, this is a government that's going to be held accountable, all right, to the people. And, and, and everything that we're talking about is going to be time bound, all right? Because it's a smart document, this one. The smart document means the time, the T there means it's time bound. All right, and I can assure you that we are not going to be a government of propaganda. We are going to hit the ground running. Osage Zayamu Pastor has been in a do state, I mean, for, for as long as you can remember. So he knows everything about this state. It's not like God Basak who came from Lagos. He's a, he's a stranger to a do state. All right, wow. we know what to do. We will hit the ground running. Okay, we, will, we, we have will to run. Affect adult people mm. within three months of the existence of mm. Osage Zayamu government. And Thank you very much, Pastor I Collins. Give as I, I give you, as I show you this simple agenda, unfortunately, we have to run at this time. You can look at the, okay. the promises. Pastor that Collins, I'm Nigerians are used to seeing agendas. We, yeah, we've been seeing it forever. I mean, we, we've seen so, top of emphasizing this agenda thing. Because we've we seen the it. Question just so hit you, we want to. I'm not sure I got clarity. I don't know if you guys got clarity, but from both. Both gentlemen, I'm not sure I got right to Either way, we have to wrap up. Really SA, uh, uh, we have, thank you very much, um, Pastor Collins, for joining us. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. Also, the special advisor to Governor Baseki, Osai Bovo Ihoha Iyoha. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us this morning. Um, Nigerians will be one to decide if they got any clarity. Um, 
in this conversation, but it seems that there's still a lot of mudslinging going on, mm -hmm. and um, we need we need specifics. Uh, but, I, but hey, listen, I'm not voting in a duel. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nima, Nima's people are Nima's voting there. People are the ones voting. My in-laws are voting yeah, there. So we only wish them the best My this Saturday. My in-laws are voting there. We only wish them the best and hope that the best candidate wins. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. You can watch Your View on TVC every Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Nigerian time on DSTV Channel 418, Go TV Channel 27 and Channel 47, Star Times Channel 121 and Channel 307, Play TV Channel 801 and Channel 190, UHF 49, Sky Channel 515 for UK viewers. Watch live on Facebook at TVC Connect and on our website, tvcentertainment.tv forward slash livestream.